But let me highlight that no unified protocol has been endorsed for these patients so far. A genuine IBM program rules out any drug treatment. Also, let me emphasize that this kind of oocyte retrieval increases the bleeding risk. It is the area of responsibility of a well-seasoned IBM specialist. In vitro maturation IBM technique. Good afternoon. My name is Dinara Renatovna Shakirova. I am a fertility doctor of a clinical hospital of Dr. Vladimir Karnov IVM incubator of mother and child company group in Samara. Our today's topic is literally enthralling. We're going to tackle using the IVM technique in the patients at risk of ovarian hyperstimulation. IVM stands for in vitro maturation. Oocytes get fully mature at embryo labs. We have have already dwelt upon the following aspect. Some of our patients are at high risk of ovarian hyperstimulation. Their AMH levels are excessive. They have countless follicles in ovaries, which may be indicative of polycystic ovary syndrome. We tend to put forth this technique to these patients. IVM mitigates ovarian hyperstimulation risks, since no drug treatment is required. It is performed within the natural cycle. It also has some other benefits. This technique may be implemented on any cycle day, as no preparatory stage is needed. Moreover, it enables the patient to save funds since she doesn't spend a penny for the drugs, including follicular growth. She undergoes examination and egg retrieval on the same day. All the follicles detected by ultrasound are to be punctured. Afterwards, we promote egg maturation at labs. These eggs are placed in a special culture medium containing FSH and LH. This gives rise to further egg maturation up to M2, M2 stage. But let me highlight that no unified protocol has been endorsed for these patients so far. A genuine IVM program rules out any drug treatment. All the follicles should be punctured within the natural cycle. Yet FSH priming may also be applied, given that the patient takes small gonadotropin doses, namely 100 to 150 units of the drugs containing FSH for roughly three days. By all means, she undergoes an oocyte pickup afterwards. Definitely, trigger administration is an extra option to be discussed. Some doctors administer a trigger in addition to these drugs. They inject HCG in the patient's bodies prior to an egg retrieval. Perhaps it barely impacts the physiology of follicular genesis. Let me reiterate that no single protocol has been approved so far. Also, let me emphasize that this kind of oocyte retrieval increases the bleeding risk. It is the area of responsibility of a well-seasoned IVM specialist. We all know that non-stimulated ovaries have higher motility than stimulated ones, containing large follicles. Your assistant will invariably lend you a hand by anchoring the ovaries. Thin 19 to 20 G needles are used for this kind of oocyte pickup. They ought to be sterilized several times. By and large, this technique is truly relevant. At present, it is ever developing. Many patients who are at risk of ovarian hyperstimulation, as well as the ones who are reluctant to undergo whichever hormonal stimulation within IVF programs, are making inquiries about this technique. I surmise that we will undoubtedly apply it. Above all, we should remember that the IVM technique is in place and put it forth to our patients. It minimizes ovarian hyperstimulation risks. Have a nice day! See you soon in the next videos. Please follow our IVF Live channel, make your comments, point out the most gripping issues which you would like to be covered in the following videos.